Hey everybody, it's Deki Nosai, and I'm here with Sonic Adventure 2. Uh, this was originally released on the Sega Dreamcast, and since then it became a port on the Nintendo GameCube. And it became one of my favorite games. I used to play this all the time as a kid, and I'm really excited to get into this and relive the experience of crashing on Sonic Adventure 2. Oh my god! Hey everybody, it's Deki Nosai, and I'm here with Sonic Adventure 2, originally released on Dreamcast, and then it came onto the GameCube, and now we're playing it on the PC. Hopefully it doesn't crash as soon as I complete this save file, because oh my god! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sorry, I've been dealing with a lot of crashing issues when it comes to this port. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it's been very murdersome. Anyways, we're gonna start with the hero story, then we're gonna come to the dark story, and then after that, we're gonna do whatever remains because a, a story unlocks after you complete both of these stories, so we're gonna do that too. Um, in terms of completion, we're not aiming for a 100% completion. We're just playing this game for fun and to relive the classics, basically. Um, that being said, this is Sonic Adventure 2. I hope you enjoy. Now, we start off captured in a helicopter. And we're going to break out, and our goal becomes to escape from the forces that seek to capture us. And I found this very peculiar because, I mean, when you first experience the game, you're like... Hey, it's Sonic. Why is he a prisoner right now? Why are they trying to capture him? And you have no idea in the story. Of course, everybody's probably played Sonic Adventure 2 by now, but I want to relive it in that way. Like, oh man, why is Sonic running from the cops? <laughs> you know? That being said, for its time, this is a fantastic introduction to the game. You have so many questions, and you're just thrown into it. It's pretty awesome. So this is City Escape, and as the name implies, you're escaping from the forces that are trying to capture you. And you're using <laughs> the wing of a helicopter, or some fragment of a helicopter, to go through the city. and. You tear apart cars and all these things that Sonic would normally not do. Like, these are civilians' cars, and look at that absolute destruction that you're unleashing upon the city. Like, <laughs> come on. It's kind of um, entertaining in that fact. Like, there's a chaotic vibe to it, and I just really like that about this. And then you have this section. It's a platforming section. So you switch from that surfing mode to platforming and I find that a really great introduction to to like the mechanics of Sonic Adventure 2 and those of you who have played this game before and like know the mechanics and stuff like that you're probably like hey you're playing like trash right now what's going on yeah it's been a while Komi's gonna roast me in the comments from what I understand but I'm just trying to have fun you know I'm not really trying to go for any like super crazy high score or 100% I'm just playing the game and having a good time. That being said, I did really miss this and I love playing through this every so often. And I was curious about the PC port because I, I just want to relive it again. I don't want to have to break out the GameCube even though I totally could do that. It's just chilling in a box. What the heck? <laughs> yeah, it's just chilling in a box in a storage room. So I could break it out, but I don't have anything to capture it with. You know? So, I figure I'm gonna play the PC port anyways. Might as well record it. And just do stuff for YouTube. That's my whole channel's initiative right now, is to just do it with what I've got. And the time that I have, I'm spending time playing games anyways. So, why not? Why not experience a classic with everybody? So that's my goal behind Sonic Adventure 2. I'm not really trying to do the best coverage of the game or do the best gameplay of the game. I'm just looking to experience it. So in that regard, I hope you guys enjoy because uh, it's been a long time since I've had any sort of content out in the first place. And I'm really looking to get back into YouTube and this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to just play games and enjoy it.
now that I think about it, like, I've always considered these chase scenes to- <laughs> it's Big the Cat. <laughs> nice. Um, I always considered these chase scenes to be kind of cliche, but at the same time, like, cliche works for a reason, right? They're- they're classic for a reason. They're good. I wonder how I did. I probably did horrible, probably like a C, let's find out. Yeah, it's a C. Definitely a C. So now that we've escaped through the city, or at least we think we did, we're gonna run into the reason for that. But after this, after this we'll run out the reason. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna pretend that didn't happen. Um, yeah, so this is Fighter Troop Bigfoot. He's a really simple boss. And uh, Comey's gonna roast me in the comments. What the f- Comey's gonna roast me in the comments, but it's okay. Um, the typical way to beat this boss is actually just to wait for him to land, and then you attack the cockpit. Though, you don't really have to do that. You can get on the boxes and just hit him, and apparently you can do it over and over. I'm not really sure entirely how that works, but... Again, I've never tried to speedrun this game or anything like that. I'm just playing casually, so it's like, whatever, you know? I'm trying to give, sc uh, like, screen time to the posters in the background, like uh, that Fantasy Star Online poster. Because I'm really hyped about when that actually comes out. I have a feeling I'll be playing that a lot. Some of my friends are hyped up about that as well, and they want me to join them, so I'm kind of just going through that. <laughs> I've never played it before, uh, but apparently Komi's a big fan of it too. So, oh, wow. I'm surprised it didn't hit. One more hit. Shouldn't take too much longer. But yeah, um, I'm kind of curious about how y'all are doing, actually. Like, uh, are these the type of games you like to see? Would you prefer to see something else come from this channel? These are thoughts that I have right now. And uh, while I'm doing this kind of just to have fun, I would also like to kind of uh, see what is a good idea to do out there, especially for my audience. If uh, Sonic Adventure 2 isn't exactly what you prefer, Definitely leave a comment in the comments letting me know what you would like to watch. And maybe if our interests align, maybe I'll do a video series on that. So now we have Shadow, and he's got a Chaos Emerald. And that's what he's been after the whole time, and it's why Sonic's reputation is ruined right now. When I was originally going through this game, scenes like this were badass to me. I just liked the concept of Chaos Control. And in a way, I always found that it was really, uh, really strange how, like, as you collect the Chaos Emeralds in the other Sonic games, they don't have any individual power, like, they don't do anything unless you collect all seven of them. So it's really good that they added something in this game to give them more power on their own, like individually. So anyways, we have Knuckles and Rouge the Bat now. And they're fighting over the Master Emerald. Rouge wants that Emerald. But Knuckles is the protector of the Master Emerald. And yet Eggman is like, hey, Bro, I'm gonna just grab that real quick. But in about five seconds, Knuckles is about to do the stupidest thing he could possibly do in terms of making sure he gets that emerald back. And that's to Inuyasha it. Boom. We are now on a quest to find the Shikon Jewel Shards. <laughs> 
I also don't get like how he just looks so like out of it when he's being shook like that. Crazy. But then again, I mean, if he's attuned to the Master Emerald, then maybe shattering it kind of disrupted his senses for a little bit. But anyways, yeah, now that Eggman has done that, Knuckles and Rouge are on a quest to find the Master Emerald pieces before the other can. So our job is to find them first. Let's see, what's the hint? A suspended ceiling. I'm pretty sure that's up here. At least, let's see. Oh, well, okay. I could just randomly find one like that, bet. <laughs> Let's see another hint. Uh, a high place. All right, I'm definitely in a high place. Ah, uh, we're getting. Oh, I see it. I literally see it. It's right up there. All right, we got one more left, as Knuckles said. So, let's try and find it. Maybe it's in this area, since I didn't really find anything over here. Well, actually, maybe this was the first place I found it. Who knows? But yeah, sometimes it's just random chance that you find it. Other times you need the hint boxes to help you along your way. It looks like I found numbers one and three, but not number two. Uh, let's see. I feel like I'm really close by, but I just don't see it. Let's see. You know, it's probably up here somewhere. Let's try. Nope, it's back there. Let's see. Okay, I'm getting closer, and it's probably... Yeah, it's down here somewhere. Aha! Gotcha. That wasn't that bad. It was kind of slow, and uh, maybe my use of hit... Like, the hit boxes might have lowered my rank, but surprisingly, I got a B. All right. I'll take it. <laughs> And as we complete levels, of course, we get emblems. Um, as I said, I'm not going for 100%. I'm just going to beat the game and enjoy it for what it is. And honestly, I think some of them are like really hard to do, too. Anyways, Tails is um, basically going to Prison Island. And he's doing that to save Sonic. And scenes like this are <laughs> really comedic to me because it's like Eggman literally has a gun pointed to Amy, walking her off the plank. Like, what did she do? What What is she capable of doing that Eggman just needs to do that? Like, if I was Eggman, I would just leave her alone, honestly. It's kind of like, what's the point? You know, Eggman could do much better things with his time. Anyways, uh, for this battle, I like to just walk up to him and do that little, like, springy thing, that spring action thing that comes out of the front. Kind of like what he just did to me. It's a really easy fight. Y you could honestly probably just walk up to him and continuously press, y like, X on an Xbox controller or Y on a GameCube controller, and it would just... Easy peasy, lemon squeezy fight. <laughs> This time I'll let you go. The next time we meet, you won't be so lucky. <laughs> Every time I see this scene, I see I, I think of a particular scene from Snap Cube's um, real time dub of Sonic Adventure 2. It's hilarious. And if you haven't seen it, you should watch it. I know, but I'm here to save my hero, Sonic. Again, Curry. I know Eggman's up to no good. I really wish they gave Amy like a stronger role like as a character but I kind of understand why they didn't because it's like for the hero story they have three characters for the dark story they have three characters it's balanced as all things should be you know anyways this is prison lane or whatever this level is called prison I I'm just gonna call it prison lane we're on our way to break Sonic out of prison because he's on a prison boat Yeah. 
And yeah. A lot of people tend to find Tails levels rather tedious, and uh, I don't really find them all that tedious, to be perfectly honest. I find some of them to be entertaining, but some are definitely annoying to go through. Um, not in the sense of, uh, you know, some are just challenging and some just kind of feel like they cheat you a little bit in terms of like, oh, hey, you died to that. Ha 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 ha, you know. And uh, I guess I guess the main reason for people relatively disliking it is just because, oh, what, am I really just doing this right now? Uh, the main reason that a lot of people might feel that they dislike Tails levels is just because it's not the same as like a Sonic or Knuckles level. Uh, you, you're driving around this mech, it might feel a little clunky to you, um, it might feel a little railroaded just a little bit more than the other levels. That being said, I kind of enjoy it because you're just kind of running through a place blowing stuff up and your tails. So to me, I think that's kind of funny. <laughs> I just find it comedic. Because again, you're, you're tails and you're going through this whole thing and you're blowing up a jail cell. And speaking of which, who designs a jail cell like this? Like, like, a, like a cargo boat like this? Who is this meant for to where there's so much like military force present within this facility? Like, why? <laughs> why is it necessary? And also, with all these bullets flying around, how have we not sunk in the ship yet? Because this is a cargo ship. Why, why is... Open, please. Thank you. Because this is a cargo ship, and... Oh, I did that, didn't I? Ah, I got one! <laughs> I always uh, let those fly. So I'm not used to actually getting one of those. But my reaction time's getting a little better. It's been a long time since I've played any kind of game like this, so I do feel a little rusty. But you know what? De-rusting is part of the process, you know? You're not always going to be the best at a game and stuff like that. It's more about just enjoying the experience. You want to play something? Play it. That's really all it is. We're nearing the end here. Just gotta open this gate. And uh, there is one thing that I wanna bring attention to. There is a gate right here. Well, turns out that there's a enemy hitting, hiding right up there. And once you kill that, it unlocks this. But we can't really get in there until later. So we're just gonna leave that for later. Ah, we got a B. Okay, cool. Not quite an A, but I will take it. It's whatever. I did get hit a few times, and I didn't really get the most rings that I could have gotten, so... Yeah, it's whatever. Now we're chilling here with Sonic. He's in jail. Just pacing. And in comes Amy. Keep your voice down. Have no fear. Amy Rose is here. And I gotta hand it to them. They made her... A little more useful as a side character than the other side characters would be because she has a freaking card and she just like you have tails just berserking through an entire like cargo thing and then you have Amy just coming in and she slips in here with a card to break Sonic out stealthily so I'm like where's tails in this cutscene what's tails doing is he just blowing up the ship for the heck of it? Like, what's going on? That black hedgehog came here with Dr. Eggman. So, Eggman's behind this, huh? What's all that writing on the wall anyway? That always concerned me, actually. The writing on the wall here. Wait for me I'm not really sure who was kept here, but I find stuff like that interesting. Anyways, this is Metal Harbor. It is one of my favorite Sonic levels. I will say that about a lot of them. I generally like all of the Sonic levels. Uh, but this one, more so... I, I just... I don't know. I found myself running this exact level a lot as a kid. And uh, don't let that make you think that I'm any level of good. What the f... <laughs> don't, don't make that think... Don't make that let you think 
that I'm any semblance of good at this kind of level because uh, what I did back then is not exactly what I'm doing right now. Anyways, in Sonic Adventure 2 you can get accessories that give you special abilities. This one in particular will give you the light dash and it will do exactly this. You might have seen it in other Sonic games. It's the same exact feature. It's pretty awesome. I liked it. Um, oh, God. <laughs> yeah, anyways. <laughs> you might be interested in knowing that I haven't actually played Sonic Adventure, like the original one. I've seen it played a few times. But if you're ever interested in seeing me run that blind, maybe I might at some point. Who knows? Yeah! <laughs> uh. This is a great experience, honestly, and I really hope it doesn't do the thing that it did before. It, it looks like the time's correct, so I think I might be able to get this. Maybe? What I'm trying to do is reach the absolute... Um, I'm not going to be able to make it. Yeah, no, I'm just going to go for the normal one. But yeah, there's a there's a stretch you can go on further to get higher than this on the rocket. And it might give you some cool stuff. I think it's just a one-up that you get, honestly. I'm not really sure, but I always found it like a cool thing to do. It feels worth. So now we're just going down a gigantic silo. And I don't understand really the functional purpose of this. Because it seems to connect to a path. And... It, it gets me asking, like, who designs cargo railways like this that it, no actual person would drive through this? You know what I mean? Like, who is this built to serve? Huh. No problem. How is it efficient? I don't get it. But it, the real answer is it's a level designed for us players. So realistically, there isn't much of a problem with that. So anyways... Now we're landed in this jungle, and we finally face off with our counterpart, the fake hedgehog. <laughs> I always enjoyed this cutscene because it's like Shadow's still going off on his monologue and he's just like, I'll make you eat those words! <laughs> Like, just really fell. What are you- hello? Can you- can you please get down here? Thank you. Face me like a man. Or a shadow. I don't know. Um, yeah. This is the main action you're gonna see in this fight. It's gonna be a lot of this until you actually get, like, a decent iframe, like, non-iframe to hit him with. Uh, the camera glitches around a little bit. You see that? <laughs> It's uh, it's just one of these fights where you just go crazy until you actually land a hit. I don't actually know the, the proper strategy for this. I just do that. Ooh, Sonic coming out here with the aggression. Do you know who I am? All right, so this one is going to be the last level that we complete before uh, ending the session here. Uh, I say that just because... I see we're going on like 25-ish minutes now, and I do want to give you guys content. But if I record so much, then, uh, yeah, it's going to mess up stuff. So, yeah, the island's about to blow up, and uh, all Shadow has to say about that is, <gasps> What? Oh! <gasps> so, Sonic has to escape the island now that he's overheard that the island's going to blow up soon. And, uh, yeah, I just really wish that Shadow would have had some kind of input. But that's okay, you know? I love how they immediately, like, keep putting in uh, light speed dash points. I just like how they use that. Okay, cool. Anyways. <laughs> uh, this is another one that I always liked to try to get through as fast as possible. Even dodging enemies, though obviously I'm not doing so well at that right now. But yeah, I just really enjoy this level. The rush of trying to get out of here in under eight minutes is 
Well, for me now, it's not really that big of a deal because I know that I can just make it. But, like, as a kid, I was like, oh, God, wow, I, uh, I gotta go now, you know? It's, it was a bigger thrill for me back then than it is now. But it's still, it's still, like, a thing, you know? Uh, there's only, oh, can I go, please? <laughs> there's only a couple more, um, levels that have a time limit to it. Uh, one of them has to do with Shadow, and the other one has to do with Rouge the Bat. And the Rouge one is actually the most, uh, more panicky than this, honestly, because you can find yourself just lost for what to do for the longest time, and that can get kind of concerning, because once you find, like, uh... Oh my god. I don't know what accent that was, but it was an accent. <laughs> Yeah, just just know that um, there there are a few sections that I will have trouble with, and it's gonna be great. I'm just gonna stop trying to get the light speed dash off on sections like this, except for that. That was kind of cool. Man, sometimes you just want to let the game speak for itself. This is a really entertaining loop. And then you get the speed shoes here, so you go super fast over this loop-de-loop. -loop. Like, I gotta appreciate the classic level design that exists here. I wish more Sonic games existed like this. Like, don't get me wrong, some games like Sonic Generations and stuff like that... Oh god, where am I going? Uh, some games like Sonic Generations and stuff like that, they do it pretty damn good. But, I don't know, it doesn't have the same vibe as Sonic Adventure 2. You know what I mean? That's that's just nostalgia talking. I just want a Sonic Adventure 3. You can have the other side games and stuff like that. Just, just give me a Sonic Adventure 3. All right, so now that we've escaped that place, we reach a stage called Pumpkin Hill. It's the next knuckle stage, of course. This place sure feels haunted. There's no time to lose. I have to hurry and find the Master Emerald. And you know, that wraps up this episode of Sonic Adventure 2. I do have to end it here, but we'll be back next time with Pumpkin Hill. Thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions or constructive criticism or anything like that, please go ahead and leave those in the comments as well if you have specific titles or games that you would like to see on this channel in the future. Also, please leave a comment with your suggestions because I do pay attention to that and I am interested in becoming uh, more active on YouTube. So just let me know what's up. And if you like what I've got going on here and you just want to see more of that, then just let me know that too. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, until next time, take it easy and decky harder.